heard that the man who hit me was drunk. Growing up, I never worried about the warnings that came with being around drugs and alcohol because I knew I'd make the right decision. I did everything right. Hello and welcome to KCAT News. I'm Olya Dolinska and with me is Abby Horsley. Thanksgiving is almost here, so Tyler and Brighton are here to give us the real history. I'm Brighton Bowman and with me is Tyler Fox. With Thanksgiving right around the corner, me and Tyler wanted to show a little bit of the history. To start things off, let's talk a little bit about tradition. The big Thanksgiving dinner usually featured ham, turkey, cranberries, mashed potatoes and gravy, pumpkin pie, but really the first Thanksgiving consisted of venison or deer, um, as well as fowl, and there was usually cranberries, but probably not in the sauce form that we are used to. Next, we have the traditional football game, which the first football game didn't air until 1934 when it was the Chicago Bears versus the Detroit Lions. And Detroit and Dallas have continued this tradition playing on Thanksgiving ever since. Since 2001, NFL teams have worn throwback uniforms. Some look pretty cool, but others not so much. <coughs> Dallas. <coughs> Sorry. Well, that's all from us. I'm Brent Bowman. And I'm Tyler Fox. Back to you guys. Good job. Thanks for telling me everything I need to know about Thanksgiving. Now up we have Kate with the scoop about the Macy's Day Parade. The annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City was originally hosted on Christmas Day in 1924. On that day, 250,000 people traveled to watch the parade compared to the 3.5 million people that go to watch it today. Originally, the Macy's Day Parade was used to pull in customers to Macy's, and guess what? It worked. As time progressed, more companies began attending and marketing along with popular artists and celebrities joining on the floats and performing and advertising as well. Historically, the first balloon to ever fly at the parade was Felix the Cat, which they mistakenly filled with helium so they couldn't deflate them, so they just let them go. In the first parade, workers and performers dressed up as cowboys and clowns. During World War II, they stopped the parade in order to donate all that plastic that made the giant balloons to manufacturers that made tires for war vehicles. So this Thanksgiving, make sure you eat all the turkas and enjoy the day's events. Kate Becker, KCAT News. I'll make sure to watch the parade this year. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching KCAT News. News.